Mass Boycott. When you read those words, you probably thought of a name. Rosa Parks. Most people do. But there was a brave young girl who had made history just a few months before the famous Montgomery bus boycott. The untold story of Claudette Colvin. Claudette Colvin was a young African American woman who grew up in Montgomery, Alabama during the time of segregation in the Civil Rights Movement. On March 2, 1955, at the age of 15, she made history by refusing to give her seat on a bus up to a white woman. When asked to give up her seat, Claudette replied, It's my constitutional right to sit here as much as that lady. I paid my fare, it's my constitutional right. When later asked in an interview about the event, she replied, I felt Sojourner Truth was pushing down on one shoulder and Harriet Tubman was pushing down on the other, saying, Sit down, girl. I was glued to my seat. After she refused to give up her seat on the bus, Colvin was arrested and later became a plaintiff in the court case Browder v. Gale, which eventually led to Montgomery bus segregation laws being overturned. Claudette Colvin's story can be used to teach students about government and civics and the basic principles of justice, equality, responsibility, and freedom and how they apply to real-life situations. In an article on essential questions, the National Council for Social Studies states that the skills and aptitudes that students learn from thoughtful consideration of essential questions are those needed in our democratic citizenry. A willingness to examine multiple perspectives, ask thoughtful questions, seek out additional information, debate ideas with peers, consider the causes and potential consequences of actions, and reconsider our own opinions and understanding in light of new evidence or alternative analysis. Child of the Civil Rights Movement is a text that is written from the perspective of a child who grew up during the time of civil rights. This is a great text to get children thinking about what life was like during this time period from a child's perspective. A Sweet Smell of Roses is another storybook that is great for younger elementary school students. It's written from the perspective of two young girls who sneak out and see a group of African Americans marching for their rights. Brown Girl Dreaming is a good text for upper elementary school students that also just gives the perspective of civil rights and the um, African American experience from a young girl's perspective. One Crazy Summer can also be used with upper elementary school students. It tells the story of three sisters who go to a summer camp run by the Black Panthers and end up learning a lot about the history of their family and their people and their nation. Then finally, the book Claudette Colvin, Twice Toward Justice, is written by Philip Poos, and it offers, um, it just tells the story of Claudette Colvin and what her experience was like and how much of an impact she actually had in the civil rights movement. And this one would be good for middle school or even high school students, so it might be something that you could use with the book in an hour strategy in an um, elementary classroom. I'm on my way. The first primary source that could be used to help teach this story um, is the arrest records from the day that Claudette Colvin was arrested on the bus. And this is just something really cool for students to look at. It makes it more real for them, I think. And they can see exactly what was written by the police and her fingerprints and the descriptions and everything. And they can examine some of the language to figure out more about the time period in which this primary source was originated from. The next primary source that we have here are some newspaper articles that were talking about the arrest after it happened and this is something that students can analyze and compare to newspapers from today. Also just to gain some background knowledge on the event and what life was like during that time period. The next primary source document is going to be an Alabama newspaper from the day that bus segregation was knocked out, which is relevant to Claudette Colvin because she was a plaintiff in the court case that eventually led to this major decision. So students could study that court case and how this related to the justice which 
Claudette stood up and fought for. The final primary source that's listed here is a link to an NPR report on the story of Claudette Colvin and um, it offers her own perspective. There's an interview where she talks about the event and, and it's really neat to hear her perspective and to hear her recall what happened and her thinking behind it. And then you also get some excerpts from Philip Hoos regarding the book that he wrote about her and his perspective on things as well.